1962, the Supreme Court removed prayer. 63, they removed Bible reading. 73, they legalized abortion. 1980, they threw out the Ten Commandments. 84, legalized pornography. 2003, legalized sodomy. As a result of that one, they struck down the DOMA, the Defense of the Marriage Act, in 2013. Eliminating God's definition of a family as one man and one woman. The Supreme Court isn't bigger than heaven's court. But those laws opened up legalizing same-sex marriage. And in 2021 now, Kamala Harris would like to legalize prostitution. So after decades of anti-Bible, anti-God legislation, look around. We've got BLM. We've got Antifa. We're losing control. Joe Biden's bowing down. America is living out their defection away from God and choosing leaders to fuel their defection away from God. And built into that defection is an expectation of judgment. God is a righteous God and is a just God and he's patient and he loves and he loves. But one day it tilts the wrong direction and judgment comes. Romans chapter 1 is another reason why America should be judged. This isn't an easy message from up here. So, so here it is. Romans 1 teaches, which I believe is exactly where America is, it teaches that a culture can spiral downhill to the point where it becomes incurable. It's where the sins of the country or a society go past the point of no return. That's what happened in Noah's flood. The whole world went past God's point of no return. It happened at the Tower of Babel. It happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. It's going to happen to Mystery Babylon in Revelation chapter 18. It says there, her sons are piled up to heaven. Her sins are piled up to heaven. And God has remembered her crimes. In the book of Revelation, the point of no return is sometimes called the harvest is ripe. It's also called the bowl of God's judgment. Judah reached that point, and they were the chosen people of Israel. Do you get the parallel? In fact, Jeremiah says, is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no doctor that can fix this incurable disease we have called sin? It got to the point where God told Jeremiah three times, stop praying for Judah. He said, if Job, Daniel, and Noah was in Judah today, they wouldn't stop my judgment neither. Finally, he says in Jeremiah 8, the harvest is past. These are sad verses. The harvest is past. The summer is ended, but we're not saved. Since my people are crushed, I am crushed. I mourn and horror grips me. Is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is there no healing for the wound of my people? Because it was incurable. The great artist Rembrandt painted this picture. And Jeremiah was called the weeping prophet. It's a picture of Jeremiah outside the gate, weeping, because Judah's judgment was coming. Now listen to what Lamentations says. These are great verses to parallel America and Judah. I'm going to read about four or five of them. They're not on the screen, so just listen. Lamentations 4.12 says, The kings of the earth and all the inhabitants of the world would not have believed that the adversary and the enemy could enter the gates of Jerusalem. 
Moreover, our eyes failed looking in vain for help. From the towers we watched for a nation that never came to save us. Restore us to yourself, Lord, that we may return. Renew our days of old, unless you have utterly rejected us and are angry with us beyond measure. Past the point. He, Jeremiah says, unless, unless we've really gone past the point of no return, he says. Now in Romans 1, the point of no return, I would define this is what happens. As a nation willfully rebels, God steps away, lowers his hedge of protection over that nation, and allows sin to come in and multiply to the point where his justice requires judgment. How many of those parades is God going to tolerate? Now, we know America is under the judgment of Romans 1. Stay with me. Because the pattern of progression in Romans 1 is this. A sexual revolution followed by a homosexual revolution. This is in Romans chapter 1. And that's where God says homosexuality is not just a sin, but it becomes a judgment that God inflicts on a nation that purposely turns away from God so that they can't ever get out of it. And then that is followed by a transsexual revolution. All of which have become perfectly normal and put into law 